Right now on 13 Action News Live at 11, they're married, they're state troopers, and they save a woman and two kids from a burning building. 13 Action News reporter Nina Porshunkala speaks with neighbors who call those troopers heroes. Christopher, the fire spread pretty quickly, blocking exits, trapping people inside. A woman had to get out through that window, and neighbors here say they are thankful for those two off-duty troopers for saving at least six people's lives. They must be com commended and acknowledged for that, for the simple fact is they were off-duty and they still have their work as number one. That's very selfless of them to not think about themselves and think about others. A coincidence that helped save people's lives. Troopers Trissa and Joseph Delabella were driving by Cornerstone Crossing Apartments when they noticed a building on fire. It's scary because you never know um, when one fire starts in one apartment because we're so close together, it can just spread so easily. Trooper Joseph went in to rescue a woman who went in her smoke-filled apartment to rescue a pet. Trooper Trissa evacuated other apartments. The fire spread quickly, causing panic and fear among neighbors. When I looked outside and saw that the building was on fire. I ran around the way to help some of the other people exit their apartments. And when I came back around, I was, you know, there was a young lady stuck in that window. There was another gentleman helping her out, so I decided to help that gentleman. Yeah. This is the apartment complex's second fire in the last 12 months. I think two things are similar in the two fires is they both occurred on windy days. Uh, we, we are under a wind advisory right now, so why, uh, wind is fire's best friend. Right now, neighbors are just glad no one died, thanks to the fast response of the fire department and two off-duty troopers. I'm proud of our law enforcement and uh, of our firefighters. A total of two people were injured, 18 displaced. We're told Trooper Joseph was taken to a nearby hospital to be checked for smoke inhalation. Nina Pershunkula, 13, Action News. New developments in a deadly helicopter.